welcome to my channel in today's video we're doing a 3d logo design using the extrude tool okay so uh, to get started let's take off that with your ellipse tool hold on the control key make a perfect circle you just change from the edge to that control. To duplicate, just flip it. Right click the duplicator. To repeat the same action, press Ctrl R on your keyboard. Alright, so we want to make um, this upper part of the circles. I will need it to be in perspective in a particular angle, angle of 30 degrees. So to get that done, I just use a line from the center of this circle out here. Double click to activate the screw to change the center of the circle. Hold that control. By default, it screws to, you can rotate to 15 degrees. So. We want it to be at 30 degrees. So we just find um, hold the node. Make sure you turn on your snap to grid. Alright. So this is where your snap to grid or snap to is turned on. So if you turn this on, that will help you. Alright. So I'll move this, hold it from the node. So it just shows you the center of the circle, right click to duplicate the, the line. So I would select the two circles and the line and make sure it intersects. Right click, and go well. I want it to intersect and be on the line. Okay. This is manageable. But yours can be better anyway. I don't want this video to be too long, that's why. So I'll delete the circle, the lines instead and then click and drag to select all the circles. Right click from the menu, you select group. You can get that control G on your keyboard. So let's pick the extrude to the extrude to click and drag. You just have that. So to get the shadings on the property bar, you have the extrude color. So use the last option, use color shading. So we're shading from white. Uh, I'll use a different color this time. Okay, let's do red. Shading from white to red. Okay, now you can increase the depth of this to form the pipe. So you can see how nice that looks. You can also do this manually by moving this gear here. Okay, so let's leave it at this. Reposition it. Then uh, create another circle. Click. Hold shift and click on this extruder. Press P to align it to the center. Okay, I think I need to increase this a little bit more. Fine here. So I feel it in. Shift page down to turn it to the back. I really like it to align to this. Okay. 
this is fine by me so you can position your own in any way you like so that these outlines can make them red so it just blends in check out this then we have the text Let's bring this apart. Or let's just type it. So text to 3D logo design. using extrude extrude to in coral draw uh, use any font of your choice For this one I'm using Sigma black so to fit this text to this part, the circle, on the text menu, you have fit text to part. The moment you just pick the tool. Okay, um, let's use 18 points for the font size. Okay, this is fine it's fine by me so i just need to adjust this a bit okay so this is how we came up with this logo if you are here up to this time if you're new to this channel give this video a thumbs up find value subscribe and share okay so this is our logo thank you for watching see you in my next video